Ecclesiastes 5. Keep thy foot, and thou goest to the house of God. Be more ready to hear, and to give the sacrifice of fools. For they consider not that they do evil. Be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thy heart be hasty to utter anything. For God, for God is in heaven, and thou upon the earth. Therefore let thy words be few. But a dream cometh through a multitude of business, and a fool's voice is known by a multitude of words. When thou vowest a vow unto God, be firm not to pay it, for he hath no pleasure in fools. Pay, thou which thou hast vowed. Better is it that thou shouldst not vow, and thou shouldst vow, and not pay. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin. Neither say thou before the angel that it was an error, lest God should be angry at thy voice and destroy the work of thy hands. For in the multitude of dreams and many words there are also diverse vanities, but fear thou God. If thou seest the oppression of the poor <laughs> and the violent perverting of justice, judgment and justice in the province, marvel not at the matter, but he that is higher than they are God, and there be higher than they. Moreover, the prophet of the earth is for all, the king himself is served by the field. He that loveth silver will never be satisfied with silver, nor he that loveth abundance of increase. This is also vanity. When goods increase, they increase that eat them. And what good is there to the owners thereof, save the beholding thereof of the eyes? The sleep of a laboring man is sweet, whether he eat little or much. The abundance of the rich can suffer from the sleep. The, there is a sort of evil which I have seen under the sun, namely, riches kept for the owners thereof to their own hurt. But those which is perish by evil travail. And he begetteth the sun, and there is nothing in his hand. As he came forth out of his mother's womb, naked shall he return to go as he came, and shall take nothing of his labor, which he may carry away in his hand. And this also is a sore evil, that in all points as he came, so shall he go, what profit hath he that hath laid for the wind? All his days he eateth in darkness, <laughs> and he hath much sorrow and wrath of the sickness. Behold, that which I have seen is good and comely for one to eat, to drink, and to enjoy all of his labor which that he taketh unto the sun of his life, which God hath given him. For his portion. Every man also to whom God hath given riches and wealth, and hath given him power to eat thereof, and to take his portion, and rejoice in his labor, this is the gift of God. For he shall not remember, not much remember the days of his life, because God answereth him in the joy of his heart. <laughs> 